middle school, so let's get started. Imogene, hasty down from that tree. Her Majesty the Queen re requests your presence. The Queen, me? The na thy name is Imo Imogen, is it not? Make haste, you mustn't keep Her Majesty waiting. Mother, mother, the Queen wishes to see me. What happened to you? I found the mud pit. Well, you'd best hurry along. We follow you behind. Mustn't keep Her Majesty waiting. Me thinks, me, me thinks she's plan, she plans on throwing at you in the stocks. Run, lass. Ah, there's the queen. Clang, clang, whack. Father, are you all right? Bit of, bit of a whack on the skull, but tis only my brains after all. And we know I haven't had, I haven't much of those. We well fought, brave knights. I shall now retire to my chambers. The heat doth overtake me at the moment. Begging you, pardon, your majesty, you wish it, you wish to see me? Ah, yes, young lady Imogen. Have you heard, have you heard told you I have recently turned 11 years of age and wish to start training as a square? Indeed, your majesty. Are you sure, though, are old enough to serve my kingdom? My squires must be very brave indeed. Tell me, young lady, how wish thou prove the, thy courage? With your majesty's leave, I have prepared... Prepare an extremely treacherous quest to prove and sh my strength and courage. Indeed, and where shall this extremely treacherous quest take you? I shall go. I'll fair middle school. To middle school. Chapter 1. Hi. Our story begins here at the beginning. Our hero, Imogen, does not know it yet, but her journey through the dark and treacherous woods of middle school shall be a twisty path indeed. Ah, oh, you are brave. Ah, oh, you are brave. Middle school is the worst. Terrible place, middle school. Worst years of my life. Thanks for their vote of con co confidence, everybody. Aren't adults supposed to, you know, encourage kids to go to school? You got the wrong kind of grown-ups, kid. What happened to you? I found the mud pit again on our way over here. Mom, did you hear? I get to start being. I get to start training to be a square. Squire. Squire. I hear and free my little girls growing up. Sigh. Mom, stop. My family has woke. Worked at the Florida Residence Fair ever since I was a baby. Up until now, all I really got to do was hang around the shoppy and help my mom and babysit Felix. But now, as a square uh, squire, I'd be an actual cast member. How do I get? To, do I get to be in the joust? How about the human chess match? And when do I get paid? Young lady, do not forget that you are still in training. You must prove your worth before performing for the public. As for your pay, $20 a week is the apprentice rate. 20 bucks a week? I'm going to be rich. Your first rehearsal is tomorrow, 9 a.m. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Look what I have. Aw, Imogen, put that away or I will take it from you. Come on, let's leave your dad to finish rehearsals. Milady, kiss. Bleh! Grow up, you two. Imphy, let's get the rest of your back-to-school shopping over with. Yippee! <clears throat> Mom and I already got notebooks and pencils and stuff I value much, but she also promised me the two very important back to school necess necessities from the fair. First, I needed a good luck charm, so I'll bring me luck, right? Crystals are very powerful stone. They bring energy to the stars of the to the soul. And last but not least, from the tannery, that my new boots, so pretty. Remember, wear them as often as possible to get the leather soft and buttery. And if she starts to outgrow and bring them back, I can stretch out the leather. And take good of these. I feed their, they are works of art. I know, I love them. These boots cost $140, and I paid half for half. I paid for half of them. So you bet I take the good care of them. I want new boots. Boots. How come Emphy gets everything? We just got you those new sneakers, remember? Besides, Emphy's going to school, She'll, so she needs them. Why can't I go to Sue, huh? Huh? I don't know if teachers get paid enough for that. What does that mean? Shh. It means I get to keep you around for a few, around a few years longer, okay? Okay, I like it here 
I like it better here anyway. <coughs> it is nice around the Shire, especially on days like today. Opening day is an, until next week, so for now it's just us Reenies. These are my favorite days because you can almost believe you slipped back in time. I've been homeschooled my entire life and it's pretty fun going to school at Residence Fair. P.E. Biology. 17 pence is the die change. Math. English. Andos tres. Spanish. And of course, history. And all the arts and crafts I can hand out at my mom's store. But when you're surrounded by dolls and bears and fairy tales all day, it can feel well babyish. And when your cla only classmate is a demented six-year-old, you know you have problems. I made Tiffany a new scarf. Isn't she beautiful? I think it's time I met some kids who didn't have a stuffed squirrel for a best friend. Here comes your father. Let's head on on. We have some more refs to finish up tonight. <coughs> Outside of fair, we lead a normal life. Put that back. Infy, go get some toilet paper, please. There... The one on sale. Normal being a relative term, of course. I'm having a baby. Oh, how cute. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a squirrel. Her name is Tiffany. I wonder what it will be like being surrounded by actual normal people all day. Oh, no, my water broke. The baby is, this baby is coming now. I hope that girl won't be in my class at school. We live in a pretty normal apartment, sort of. Mom, I'm putting my boots away. My room is pretty normal. First day of school outfit, normal. Backpack, normal, normal. Everything's ready, I think, I hope. Only a few days to go until I find out. Allow me to buy you lunch with the Chris $20 bill, new friends. I heard she's a knight. Cool. Wow, nice boots. <coughs> Chapter 2. Hiya! 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 Hee hee. Hiya! Wah! Hey, you two, knock it off. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. We have neighbors. She did that on purpose and she ruined my sword. Imphi, why do you always have to set them off like that? Felix, play your video game. Imphi, take these boxes down to the car, please. How come I have to? You know how, how there are some mythological creatures that can turn their victim into a stone just with a look? Okay, okay, I'm going. Sheesh. What did you say? She's getting so lippy. I don't know what is going on with her. <coughs> Mom gave me a ring pot. Big whoop. We helped carry the boxes to the shoppy when we arrived. Come on, info rehearsal starts in 10 minutes. Have fun staying in the store all day, loser. The Sunday before opening day is always an all-cast meeting. By now, all of the actors had, been in t had to be in town. There are lots of different resonance fairies around the country. Some folks stay put and only work this one, like my family. Some people travel from fair to fair, so we get, so we only get to see them once a year. When everyone comes back to town, it's like a big family reunion, a fair Millie re reunion. Well, who is this giant before me? Hi, Cussie. Cussie is my third grandma, except she's a lot weirder than my two real grandmas. Good to see you, too, Hugo, the fusty, onion-eyed flap dragon. Getting into trouble already, Cussie? It's 9 o'clock. It's 9, 9 o'clock in the morning. A bit early for fights, even for you. Hey, kid, Impy, your betroth is here. Dad, stop. Make one little comment when you're seven years old about what, how you want to marry a certain person when you grow up, and nobody lets you forget it. Lady, I'm a... I'm a Imogen, you grow more beautiful with passing each year. How's my future performance partner? Let's see how much you've practiced this year. Okay. Kid has always said that when I get older, we'll form a juggling and sword fighting act and tour fairies around the country. I don't really think that will happen still. It's nice to have a backup plan if the middle school thing doesn't work out, doesn't plan out. Well done. Next, we'll work on getting you up to four objects. Lords and ladies, fools and jesters, if you are ready, we shall begin. A beginner ready, throwing, crawling, toad spotted, clack dish. Cussie got her name, nickname for a reason. Welcome to the 20th Animal Florida Residence Fair. Huzzah! A few housekeeping items like every year, the fair is open to, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Weekends only for eight weeks. 
The queen went on with more detail. I saw lots of people I recognized from other years. There's the musicians, the jesters, the well wenches, the mugman, Polio, the cat trainer. It was nice to see everyone again. Now, what you've all been waiting for. As you know, each year we choose a theme that runs through all of our programming, from the opening ceremonies to the chess match to the joust. This year's theme is Stink, George, and the Dragon. I'd like you to... It I'd like to introduce you to our principal actors, playing the hermit who emerges from her cave to the first for the first time in 47 years to warn the villagers, Cussie. Cussie usually gets one of the best roles because she's so funny. Playing the evil lord of the dragon, Sir Hugo. Dad pretty much plays the villain every year. I used to wonder why he never gets to play the good knight, but I guess I'm used to it by now. Playing our kind maiden princess who sacrifices herself to the dragon for the good of the kingdom lady violet huh i've never seen her before she must be a new cast number member and last but not least playing sir george's who else but it is i sir george and i shall show you this dragon kid plays the hero pretty much every year he's cute and funny and he and knows how to juggle, so yeah, it's no brainer. Impressed, princess? Impressed? Impressed by what? You, uh, you haven't done anything yet. I've seen more impressive stunts at Her Royal Highness's dog show. And there you have it. That concludes our meeting. Please meet with your guide guild for morning rehearsals. Kiss, toss. Ready to go, Ems? Yeah, where do we to do we go first? I'm going to sword fighting rehearsals. You're meeting with Cassie this morning. I am. I thought I'd just hang out with you all day. You're a full-fledged cast member now. You have your own rehearsals and daily schedule. Oh. This was unexpected, but a little exciting, I guess, to be on my own. Cassie will explain all. I'll see you this afternoon for joust rehearsals. Ah, the first day of rehearsals. A glorious day in every young maiden's life. Come, step into my office. This will be your daily schedule during the fair. Keep it handy. What does this mean, street? We'll get to that. Hold your horses. Are you jo Hold your horses. You are joining the cast as a squ squire, correct? What would you say is your most important job as a squire? Um, well, helping my knight in combat, keeping the armor clean. Ron, your most important job is to interact with the public. Huh? Let me ask you something. What do you like best about fat? About fair. Well, it's fun. I get to run around and pretend I'm a different. I'm in a different time. I need f get. I need good food and watch shows. And yes, pretending that, my dear, is street walking, talking, and living as though you are in a residence village. We want guests to be transported to another time so they can forget about real life for a little while. Come with me. Good morrow. And well met, Baker. Prithy has though any French loaves this morning. Perhaps without sand or rocks? I nearly chipped a tooth, tooth on the loaf you did give me yesterday. I'm surprised, yeah. Have, have any teeth left at your age? Ha ha. Ha, you're lucky I have this young lass with me. Else I might call you Spunty Beef Wooden Mega. Fare thee well. See, convincing guests... They are in a living, breathing village filled with colorful characters and included, include them in the fun. Make the visitors feel welcome, and Fee, that's your most important job. So I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoy my video. Bye!